cool, hopefully you can hear me. Finally some footage again of getting in the air. summer basically because we've been renting it out so uh, yeah back in the van and using it for what I kind of one of the reasons why I intensely bought it for in the first place and the other bonus for today is that we are actually getting back on the paramotor so uh, we're heading up to uh, Flypack UK to Danny there who's going to give me a bit of a refresher in uh, in uh, sort of taking off landings etc and uh, get me another step closer to get my club pilot's license and uh, yeah just looking forward to getting back into the air again so I've not had the uh, as you probably know as well if you've been following the channel I've not been flying uh, a lot at all this year in fact I think I've only done one video this year flying flown twice and then only filmed once but yeah that's it that was back in April so yeah it's now September so the plan is to get this refresher get going again and get some more flying going so Right, we'll catch up with you later on. We're going to stop off and grab some breakfast at some point, and then we'll get to Danny's. Well, we've uh, made it to the pin drop that Danny left me. Um, but yeah, just thought I'd rustle myself up an egg bap and a cup of coffee. And uh, hopefully we'll be looking for a field. I think it's just over there somewhere uh, where we'll be uh, kiting and flying from. So we're certainly not flying from here because uh, as you've already seen, it's full of maize. Oh, here we go. Here's Danny turning up now. So I've uh, been down here all day and uh, at Flypack UK and uh, yeah it's been pretty windy most of the day we did get a flight this morning didn't take any film because I've got Danny's helmet on um, and I've just been up again just now um, with a different wing um, again with Danny's helmet on so no film but I'm actually going to use my wing again now and uh, put my helmet on so we'll try and get a bit of footage with a GoPro yes yeah, all good fun winds dropping minute by minute so it was a bit a uh, bit windier than this probably five ten minutes ago but uh, Anyway, we'll see how we get on with a lower wind on my wing. Clear up. Uh, see how we go on with the landing. Nice marquee down there. Yeah, the wind's pretty strong too. All 
right so I'm gonna get myself out nice and early kick out lean forward okay turn in a bit don't want to turn in okay all right let's kill the engine Not leaning forward. Ah. Ugh. I don't know what's going on there. It's moving around again. <laughs> I say that every time I land, and I don't know what's going on there. It's basically, my inputs. That's what's going on there. So there you go. Yeah, the time that I do land on my feet. Admittedly, it was with that wing over there, but I landed on my feet. I ran it out. It was spot on there on. Uh, other than the fact that I was just a little bit off wind, that was. But I didn't have the camera on. I had Danny's helmet on, so he didn't see it. So if it's not on camera, it didn't happen. Right, let's sort this wing out. We might just go again one more time if I can. Alrighty, let's give this another crack before it gets too dark. She be an heavy old beast, but actually, she's not one of the heaviest. Right. Eee. Is that in? That's in. Chest strap. So many straps. All right. Let's get this on. Okay. Clip up. All right. Oh. Let me number two. Okay, okay. Clear to pulley. Uh, uh, A's in the thumbs. Okay. Well, the A's clear. Yep, they're on that side. And they are on that side. Okay. Right, so just a little thought that this isn't going to go well, uh, but uh, I mean, take off that is, uh, but we'll give it a shot and see what happens. That's it. I've had a good day. Got back in the air. Done plenty of ground handling. Remember, it's better having runway in front of you yeah. than behind you. Right. What you I thought. Got much room for correction. No. So you were saying I should have been right back in the corner. Right. Yeah. I think I'm going to get, call it a day anyway, so. Well, what an end to a, uh, well, to a cracking day. Um, Travelled down here this morning with the sunrise and spent the day getting to know my paramotor again, getting up in the air, kiting the wing again, trying out some new wings, which is a bit of an eye-opener. Uh, but yeah, generally an all-round cracking day and... I still cannot describe the feeling of flying. It is just good to be back in the air. Um, 
but now as you can see we've got a full moon and i am in a field on my own now everybody else has cleared off obviously too dark to fly but i've got the camper van here just poke that and see whether that'll just come up no it won't so i'll put it back on the moon um so yeah uh, the farmers allowed me to stay here the night in the field saves me traveling an hour and a half home so that's what i'm doing just been practicing on my harmonica which i'm learning to play at the moment and uh, just watching all the aeroplanes going over and the stars coming out there we go that's got my bed set up um pretty dark out there other than the full moon so uh thought i'll just get everything set up in here and then i might just enjoy another 10 minutes of the full moon before i come in here probably practice a bit more harmonica and then get some get some sleep ready for tomorrow Good morning, uh, nice peaceful night's sleep. Got to bed about, I don't know, half past 10. And uh, slept through. Well, I actually got up about half past two, nip to the loo. And then um, <clears throat> got up about seven o'clock. But yeah, the sun's just rising up and over the hill there now. Um, it is 20 past seven. So uh, yeah, Danny said he'd be down here for about eight o'clock and we're gonna just brush over the grass to get off the dew they've got some contraption there that kind of dries the grass out a bit quicker so uh and then it's looking like a cracking morning for a flight so i'm gonna grab some breakfast a bit of coffee and then we'll be uh getting our gear out and getting gear ready Nothing like an egg bap in the outdoors. Especially on a morning like this. and see what happens.
it's getting really spicy. Right. Holy shit. That's throwing me about all over. We're getting lots of lift. Oh, I just wiped it down. That is the roughest I've ever flown in. Whoa, that was not nice. <laughs> oh, that was spicy. Woo. Alrighty, well, I'm down anyway. Not the best of landers. The last landing was again better, but it wasn't on film, so it didn't happen. Oh my God. But actually, I'm actually quite pleased with the way I control that because there's a lot of bump, a lot of lift. I thought I'd get in lift, then drop, lift and dropped. So that was a tricky one. Right, let's get this stuff back over there. So I do want to apologise to all the guys that, or well, most of you, I think, that have probably that have subscribed to my channel that have uh, come here because of paramotoring and flying. Um, I know the last few videos have been motorcycling, but we are going to mix it up a bit. So there's going to be a bit of motorcycling, a bit of paramotoring, maybe even a bit of paragliding at some point and uh, hopefully we'll be getting back in the gyrocopter as well at uh, some point. So yeah plenty to come along those lines. Here we go again. All right. So that was a nice take off. Well, what a beautiful evening this is turning out to be. Looking across the Cheshire Plains towards the North Wales Hills. Well, that's Nantwich over there, which we flew over this morning. Uh, yeah, unfortunately I didn't get any film of that because I got Danny's helmet on and uh, I was taking some instruction at the time. So, but yeah, uh, he hasn't said it yet, but hopefully later he'll say that, yeah, I've got my club pilot's license. Right over this lake. Look at that, digger in the middle of it. I don't know whether you can see that. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, it's not, it's got lift this wing. It's not wanting to come down very quick. Oh, a few bumps. Nothing like this morning though, let's put it like that. So I'm going to turn in. And then turn in. Do a few S turns. Just 
to get myself low. Now we might be good. Getting a bit of lift. Forward. <laughs> well i hope you really enjoyed that video i know i enjoyed making it and i certainly enjoyed getting back in the air again after quite a while off so um it's really boosting my confidence just want to say thanks to danny at Fly flypap uk for um spending those couple of days with me and um yeah trying some different wings um and uh, yeah just uh, refreshing on the on the skills that i'd kind of Got a bit rusty, shall we say, and still need some and still need some uh, practice at the moment. But we're getting there for sure. So I've definitely just got to keep it up now. Hopefully the weather's going to be kind to me over the next few months and through the winter here in the UK. But uh, we'll see about that. Um, anyway, so did I actually get my club pilot's license? Um, did Danny sign me off? I did the uh, I did the exam quite a few months back, and I'd already sort of carried out some tasks with him earlier. Uh, well, actually, probably a year ago now, I suppose. Um, and I'd still got one or two things to do. So he couldn't sign me off until I'd completed the book and everything. As it happens, yes, I did. I got my wings from the BHPA and I've also now got my license, uh, which, um, yeah, gives me a club pilot rating. So uh, the next step will be pilot rating. So we'll be going for that next. And uh, and then there's the advance after that. So, but anyway, for now, pretty pleased with that. And uh, touch wood, we'll be bringing some more flying videos to you soon. So if you enjoyed this video, you want to see more of it similar to it, um, then please subscribe below, click the bell icon so you'll get notifications every time I uh, put a video up. And we'll see you in the next one. Until then. Oh, <laughs>